All right. All right. We got it installed. There's the new uh, White Rogers, I think it's known as a Stenco or a Stancor relay that I got from Diesel O-Rings. That's the install. One thing I did learn is it um, might be easier to attach the wires and then flip it around over in there. And I got this from the uh, Guzzles website that it's easier to put this nut in on this side and get as close down to the bottom as you can. Slip it around down into it and then put the other nut on on the back side. And as you can see, there's no clearance to be able to put a socket on top of the post. So you will have to use a 10 millimeter wrench in there. Be really careful that you don't accidentally arc this, this stud to there. Because this is your constant hot going to your AIH. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of something else. Make sure you have your orientation of your wires right. Don't torque them down too much so you don't snap any of the studs off or break them loose inside. Um, another thing I did is I looked down in here. If you can see down in here, I made sure that none of these wires are going to be rubbing up against anything. So I kind of just bent the tabs a little bit to get them away from stuff so they wouldn't rub on the frame. One more other thing I saw. You have to go around here, hon. Oh, I took your chair, didn't I? The other thing I did see is if you can see down in here, this wire right here, and I think that's the PCM side wire, it was actually, once you have it installed, it wants to rub against this metal part of the frame. So what I did is I just bent the tab out on that once I got it installed. Um, that's it for the install. It's completely installed. Um, like I said, I first learned of the relay when I was doing some Googling. And uh, I learned of the website. Uh, it's called Guzzles. Uh, let see. Guzzles 2002 Ford Power Stroke Diesel White Rogers Stancor 586-902 GPR Replacement Mod. And the website name was G-U-Z-Z-L-E number 7 letter P, letter T, number three, dot com, front slash S underscore GPR dot PHP. So guzzle7pt3.com, front slash 7 underscore GPR dot PHP. He's actually got the full, with pictures and all, the instructions on how to do the install and whatnot, and about how rotating it on an angle, all that good stuff. So it's a super helpful website. And then, of course, that, when you click on the link to buy it, it sends you to diesel O-rings. And I'm wanting to say, uh, we live in Ohio, so with shipping and uh, shipping it to Ohio, total cost of the relay I think was $70.26, and I ordered that back at the end of December of 15. So that's the full install. Um, I'll go in and flip the key over. I installed a, this wire here that I was talking about, I installed a glow plug relay light inside the cab. So that lets me know if this relay is firing or not. So then that way, if it's not firing, I can short it to heat the glow plugs to start it in cold winter. So I'll go around to the inside of the truck real quick. It's not really going to serve any purpose for the relay right now because the truck's plugged in. So it's going to start even if the relay is not working. But at least I'll go around and turn the key on where you can see the light on the dash so you can see the relay is working. All right, that's my glow plug relay light. So regardless of what about the uh, wait to start light does, this lets me know my relay is working. So as long as that is working, then I know it's making voltage all the way through the relay to the glow plugs. So that's it. Good luck to you, everybody. And if you have any questions, let me know. But it's pretty self-explanatory and it's a relatively easy install. Oh, one more thing. I did have to change up some of the tools. Alright, the tool list that I said that you had to have once you first put it in, I think was the 14 and the 13 for removing mine, and then 3 8 short, and then the quarter inch for the 10 mil. After installing it, because it's such close clearance right here, and you don't want to arc that big post against anything metal, I went with a short 13 mil for the big posts, and then of course I used my short 3 8 for the uh, small posts. And again, be gentle on tightening down those little posts and the big posts so you don't snap anything off because it does come with the, um, when you uh, buy it and it comes in the box, there's a little piece of paper that says if you snap any of these studs off, it's not covered under warranty. I believe that's what it said. So, all right, that's it. Good luck, everybody.